Okay, welcome back. Um, for this last video, we're going to be working on the small details of the painting. So we're really going to bring out the the highlights in some areas and the and the darker values in other areas. And we're just going to generally tidy up the whole thing and just make it look a little bit more presentable. So first of all, I'm going to do a value check so take that value down a little bit now we have some areas that we haven't really um, addressed so I'm just going to take the the pointed stump and we're just going to start to clean up some of these um, some of these edges as of some of these rock faces that we we haven't really touched since the um, the initial blocking so dragging the uh, original color around we'll just try and separate some of these um, some of these edges and some of these faces of these uh, rocks now the river is um, on the same layer uh, we can start to blend some of this in as well trying to create the the darker value in the, uh, the foreground there pulling up some details on this um, rock that's in the middle of this river give it a little bit of form some of these edges need blending in create a nice crisp edge for this foreground rock drag some of that snow area around to form the uh, the edges of the that rock in front of it okay I'm happy with that. Some more detail on the uh, on the river there. Trying to show that the the river is running towards these rocks, so so you're going to have some white water on some of these edges there. Blending in a bit more of the darker value of the uh, the river in the foreground. Back to the the pastel brush. Some more detail on the water. Uh, highlights. Color picking with the express key again there. Using high values to separate that background area. Now I'm going to detail some of this rock in the uh, in the foreground here. Um, we'll put some some moss or some sort of plants that are are growing on this on this ledge. Now we're using a a blue green because the uh, this area is is mainly in shadow, so we don't want this to be a bright, warm green. Um, it needs to be a cool, cool bluish green. You can see on the color wheel that this is actually uh, an extremely 
dark green but you can still see it, it's actually quite bright against the uh, existing dark value that we've already got. Now these are two different surfaces so they'll have um, different values. Stones and plants will uh, reflect light in different ways. We can afford to uh, go quite bright with some of the some of the values. Sometimes the leaves are incredibly shiny, and they'll they'll reflect light a lot more than a a rock that's covered in uh, sand or or something like that. In this top area. Uh, we can afford to go a little bit warmer with some of the greens. It's a it's a lighter edge. It looks like it's turning round, uh, round the corner towards where the light is starting to uh, hit that rock face. It's adding a bit more shadow and. Uh, variation to some of the, the darker areas of the, the cracks in the rocks. A bit more variation on the green. Three or four colours will tend to look better than just one or two. We can introduce some of these warmer greens now. And I'm going to colour pick some of the greens and then boost the, um, the value and change the colour to a brighter yellow green. Now looking to create the, the edge of this rock face with the brightest value. And the brush at this point is very small because we're adding the, the details and just very small variations in um, in the texture that we, we already have. These couple of areas in the middle are getting most of the uh, the light. Um, that's because we, we are trying to draw our eye through the painting and that part in the middle just so happens it's the uh, it's gonna be the brightest part with the with the most colour the background is obviously bright with the snow, so this is going to give us a, a good contrast for the final piece. Small areas of highlight here and there, don't go too crazy with the, um, with the highlights on, um, on the sides. We just want small areas dropped in here and there. Now we're picking a, a yellow colour and we can add some highlights on this um, on this bank here because it's starting to look a, a bit dark in comparison to those bright greens. Detailing in some of those areas with this uh, high value yellow. As we get further back, I've increased the uh, the value even more. Some small highlights here and there, using that high value yellow. Now 
I've decided that the uh, the mountain in the background needs a a bit more variation, so I'm going back to the uh, the pointed stump blender, and we're just going to change a little bit of the uh, this area on the back. Now I'm going to draw in with the uh, the pastel brush. Color pick and then detail some of these areas. Now the detailing is the uh, is the longest part of any painting, so we can speed this up. Um, maybe just listen to a a bit of music for this last piece. After I finished the painting I decided to rotate the canvas just to finish it off, give it a bit more dynamic. Um, I took the contrast of about 10%, um, added some birds in the foreground for a element of scale. I hope you enjoyed watching this, I um, hope it's given you some ideas, thanks very much for watching.